What the heck is this? What am I looking at? Anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. You know what? Time to introduce a new part of my show. Side by side, in which I compare one song to another and see which of them stack up better in touching similar subject matters. Or if they just even sound similar. You get the idea. Point being, it's time for a comparison of two very similar songs. And in this case, it's between Nicki Minaj's Anaconda and the song that she's sampling from Sir mix -a -Lot's Baby Got Back. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. But there's no comparison. Baby Got Back wins hands down. And it's no, it's not because Anaconda is sampling. That's not the reason why. There's nothing wrong with sampling if a part of the song is empath empathized or remixed or reworked in a way that fits the song, the new song, well. Eminem did a sampling of uh, one song. You might remember it. I want to thank you for giving me the best day of my life. And he reworked that, sa that the sample from that song into his own song, which was about an obsessed stalker. That is an example of something that's creative. This song does not do the sampling creatively. Was that supposed to be funny? Was that supposed to be entertaining? Was that even supposed to sound good? It sounds off kilter and wrong, the way she's singing it. And yeah, you know, shaking your ass in the air and humping at the air is not a very feminist message. I know there are some news articles out there that are actually trying to defend this video. It is an insult to feminism. In fact, how about I show you just how insulting it is to the feminine gender and how this is clearly not an empowering song. Just because a woman is in front of the camera and choosing to shake her ass does not make it a feminist piece. It doesn't, okay? You think those Vine videos that have women shaking their butts you really think a feminist is going to say, oh, well, as long as her friend filming it is a woman, that makes it okay? No, it's not. That doesn't make it okay. If you're trying to come to us, not as a person, not as an artist, but as a piece of meat, that is belittling to your gender. It is insulting to your gender. It's not okay. It's not okay. And you know what? Here's the and you know what? Here's the thing. If this was supposed to be an inversion of Baby Got Back, that would be one thing. But I want you to listen very closely to how Nicki Minaj presents herself in this song. Boy, Troy named Troy used to live in Detroit. Bitch, so full of money, he was getting some coins. Was the shootouts with the law, but he lived in a palace. Bought, bought me Alexander McQueen, he was keeping me stylish. Now that's So your boyfriend sold drugs, and you didn't care so long as he bought you nice stuff. And I know you said he was your boy toy, but you're not exactly... You don't talk about actually being the queen pin who's selling drugs or being part of the business. You bis you're saying he's your boy toy, but all you're doing is basically... It just comes off like you're helping him with his drug business... And you, like, shoot, occasionally shoot people 
maybe you don't go into any real detail on what it is you do and the the way you sound and the fact that you're talking about the fact that he he keeps buying you all this stuff makes it sound like you're really nothing more than his bubble-headed girlfriend who doesn't care that he's selling drugs and you don't care that you're killing people as long as he gives you nice stuff you come off as shallow at best and amoral why do we want you why should we care about you you want him to eat you out while he's still got a grill in his mouth that's disgusting move on next verse No, 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 please, feminists, please tell me that this is positive for your gender. By all means, she's slamming her floor against the crotch, but oh, 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 it's fine. It's fine because she wants to slam her floor against... Are we watching the same music video? And by the way, what do you mean dick bigger than a tower? I ain't talking about Eiffel's. Then what are you talking about? You know, the whole point of wordplay is just, you're supposed to say something like, we're just kicking it, but I don't mean like a soccer team. But now it's no longer about the fact that his penis is like a tower. It's a specific type of tower. Okay, what specific type of tower? You screwed up the wordplay. Oh, and guess what? You want to know why she's dating this next guy? Take a guess. Just, just, just take a guess. <laughs> So you're sleeping with this guy because he also sells drugs, and then after you sleep with him, you make him buy you expensive clothes. How is that not a stereotype? How could you think this song was in any way empowering to your gender? Why would you think this? I'm on some dumb shit. <laughs> Yeah, you must be if you think this song is any good. You know what? You want to know why Baby Got Back worked besides having a great rhythm and beat to it? You want to know why it worked? See, now that is a good rhyme scheme. That is rapping that's well done. There's a lot of effort put into the craft. Nikki barely shows any. This is the important thing. This is the counterbalance to the objectification that's going on in the Baby Got Back song and music video. Yes, he's also showing women shaking their ass. But here's the thing, in Baby Got Back, he, at the time this song came out, it was controversial because African American standards of beauty were not really accepted by the mainstream and certainly not in pop music. Magazines said flat butts were the thing. And here, ba Sir Mix-a-Lot was coming forth and saying, you know what, I think you're beautiful. I think the fact you have a big butt helps to make you beautiful. I'm tired of the standards that the white guy is trying to force onto us. We should have a wider standard for what is beautiful. African American women with big butts, they should be considered beautiful as well. I don't care that you're fat. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake that healthy butt. Baby got bad legs. Exactly. Having a big butt is not something disgusting. It's healthy. That's what he's saying. It's healthy. It's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. I ain't talking about Playboy, cause 
silicone parts are made for toys. So I'm looking at rock videos. Not need bimbos walking like hoes. You can have them bimbos. I'll keep my women like Flojo. Oh, Cosmo says you're fat. Well, I ain't down with that. Nicki Minaj couldn't be bothered to try and put in a positive message like that. That would try and show an appreciation for people who actually do have traits that aren't like the norm, like Sir mix -a -Lot tried to. To the beanpole dames in the magazines, you ain't it, Miss Thing. He's trying to be fair. Nicki Minaj doesn't do anything like that. She's just talking about having sex and practically humping at the air. Actually, there is one part in the song that she almost tries to do, to do that. One part of the song where she does try. Here it is. Yeah, he loved his fat ass. <laughs> yeah, this one is for my bitches with a fat ass in the fucking club. I said, with my fat ass, big bitches in the club. Fuck the skinny bitches, fuck the skinny bitches in the club. I want to see all the big fat. Nikki. You do know that demeaning one body type is not equivalent to praising another. All you're doing is just skinny shaming. It's not the same thing as what was done in Baby Got Back. It's not really praising... It's... It doesn't... It, you sound psychotic! And it kind of undercuts the whole point of your... Of the idea of this video to try and take back the song by you giving a lap dance to Drake that comes right out of nowhere and according to what I've read was added at the last minute. This lap dance was added at the last minute. And... And look at this! Blatant commercialism. Yeah, just shilling for these products. That's that's not disgustingly unartistic at all. No, no, that's not you selling out. That's... Ugh. God, seriously, I'm so sick of these beats by Dr. Dre. Oh, and it gets better because now we have the kitchen scene. Guess what she's gonna do with that banana? After she t sprays whipped cream all over her chest and her ass and between her breasts, yeah, she deep throats a banana before doing again the lap dance. So, final verdict. Again, baby got back is a hundred times better than Nicki Minaj's Anaconda, and I am so disappointed in her. I used to be a pretty darn big fan. I really liked a lot of her work. I was willing to defend stuff like starships, okay? But this... no. Just... just no. I gotta, I, there's gotta be a better song out there. I need something to wash the palette out. <sighs> Next time, The Who. I'll discuss The Who. That's a good band.